not be able to hear me because of the crashing waves. It's quite, uh, quite large waves compared to what I've seen so far. I'm leaving Riva de Sea, heading to Kalunga, and it's supposed to be about 13 miles, which should be a pretty easy day. And it is overcast and sprinkling a little bit, which I haven't had to deal with for quite some time, but I don't know if it's going to develop into full-blown rain or what. We shall see. Well, day 19 has ended. It was a short day, 13 miles. I am in Kalunga, which is in a kind of a rural inland a small town, and I'm actually outside of town um, in a little uh, house. Um, actually, it's bigger than a little house, but it's uh, a nice little property uh, overlooking the town. And um, tomorrow is day 20, and it will be my final full day on the Norte before cutting off, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, today was a good day. Um, sprinkles of rain in the morning that my uh, umbrella was fully capable of taking care of. So I um, got an early... Um, arrival here which means lots of good rest and um, relaxation before heading off on another short day tomorrow which is only about 10 miles so um, I will see you tomorrow on day 20 to sit out Well, good morning of day 20. That has kind of a nice ring to it, 20. Uh, today is supposedly a short day, 10 miles or so, to Via, via Viscosa. pretty sure that for every two structurally sound and living livable accommodations there's at least one that's abandoned that's uh, in that sort of shape and I'm not exactly sure why obviously 
you know, these are hundreds and hundreds of years old. Well, I've ended day 20 in Villa Vicosia and uh, it's a medium to large size town. It's inland and um, it was about 11 and a quarter miles. I got in early at one, uh, had squid for lunch which uh, is a little unusual, not the squid part, but having an actual sit-down lunch. Um, and so I'm getting ready to hit the Primitivo tomorrow, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, the Norte has been fabulous, but um, I'm kind of ready to get back up into the mountains, and um, they say the views are spectacular in a different way than they've already been spectacular. So um, I'm looking forward to uh, making the transitions. Well, good morning on day 21. This will be my third full week on the Camino. And uh, in about an hour, maybe less actually, I will be making the transition from the Norte to the Primitivo. Um, headed to Pol Pola de Seo, and uh, that will be the point when I cut off of this uh, Norte, where if there was any people that I had met along the way and, and they're behind me or even ahead of me um, that will be the last time I see them except perhaps in Santiago so it's a perfectly clear day it's actually pretty cool right now almost to the point where I thought about putting my long sleeve hoodie on so the days are starting to get cooler in the morning and uh, off we go to join the Primitivo. Well, here's the spot. Guillaume ahead of me on the Norte, Oviedo on the left, which is the actual starting point of the Primitivo. So this is uh, where the trail splits. 